we're live. Hello to anyone watching slash listening, probably more so listening. This is the very first ever episode of the Raglan Surf Report podcast. And for this podcast, we've actually started from the very bottom. And when I say the very bottom, I mean that the whole setup is su- supremely ghetto. I have uh, a bunch of tape, different types of tape. There's some medical tape and some duct tape holding my cell phone, which is recording the audio through a piece of shit microphone. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get straight straight to it. Uh, this podcast is, is basically a side gig to the Raglan Surf Report. So, I mean, you guessed it, it's, it's going to be loosely based around surfing. And today... I've got a very good friend of mine, and also probably New Zealand's best surfer, Mr. Billy Stearman. Hey y'all, how's it? Oh, it's alright, eh? Yeah. I mean, it's good to finally get this shit sorted, <laughs> I guess. Got it, got it together in the end. Yeah, yeah we did. Um, oh, also, I'd like to <coughs> say for those people who are listening, we are in a studio... It's not a recording studio it's at all, it's our friend Ham Bun's art studio, and so he's chipping away at doing some, some art at the moment, so if you hear some weird shit going on, like a hair dryer, that's um, it's part of his art, it's, it's how he dries his paint, or the hair dryer, so if you hear that, that's just uh, the bun. Um, the boy in the dries. background, there it goes. See, there, there we go, there we go, straight into it. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> No, I'm, I, I'm just kidding. Should be a little bit more respectful. He's nice enough to let us use his studio. Yeah, full studio. Yeah. It's cold though, eh? It's freezing, bro. I'm so cold. Yeah. Ooh. How many degrees do you reckon it is? Oh, I reckon it was like negative this morning. You negative? I reckon it was like negative one this was morning. It? I don't know. I, I didn't couldn't get even up see there, outside the window. It was that foggy. My toes are frozen. Yeah. Though. They are legit. Fro- well, they're not frozen. They're not literally frozen but I can't feel them my my toes are numb I but like, I think I think that's because I've got like really big feet yeah I was so just... like my heart probably has to work a lot harder to get the blood to the ends of my feet I was just checking out your new shoes that you got eh? yeah yeah pretty that, pretty uh, not that schnazzy, warm, eh? not that warm, not that warm no but like I was saying I don't think my heart is powerful okay. enough to pump the blood quite, to the extremities you're a big of my dude, body. Though, so you must have a big heart I've got a I've got a big heart, <laughs> but I don't think my heart is big enough for my body. I think it's out of proportion. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like, you know how certain things can be out of proportion? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, see, so, yeah, so I think my heart might be out of proportion. I should probably go and get, get check. that checked out yeah. at some point <laughs> in case, you know, that is an actual thing and it's just not me talking shit about my undersized heart. But, um,. But yeah, I don't know, I guess that's one thing as New Zealand males or males in general is we don't really go to the doctors that often. No, I can't remember the last time I went to the doctors. Nah, I I, I reckon I'd probably, like, if I chopped my leg off, (laughs) I I mean, that's when you're forced to go to the doctors because you can't do anything for it yourself, but, you know, apart from that, I'm probably not going to go to the doctors. Yeah, I'd go to everything else, osteo, physio, training, but not the doctors. Yeah, well, you're a, you're a finely tuned athlete, so you have to go to places like that. But mm. for me, I'm not a finely tuned athlete. Like, it's, for me, it's natural. I don't really need to go to those places like physios. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I think it's something that guys should probably do more. Go to the doctor. I think so too. Yeah, I don't know why we don't. I guess well, it's like, the she'll be right attitude. Yeah, you know, oh, just believing be okay. that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'll just walk it off. Walk it off. But some things you can't walk off, like hepatitis. You can't walk that off. (laughs) You know, I don't think anyone's ever walked hepatitis off. No, probably not. Yeah. Although I bet so many dudes have tried to walk it off. off. They don't know, but that's the thing. They probably don't even know that they have it. Or maybe they do know they have it. Maybe they did actually go to the doctors and they're like, well, you got hepatitis... Alphabet or whatever the the letter is, <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, no, I should be right, mate. I'll just bloody, I'll walk that off. I'll be fine." <laughs> but yeah, like, say you with your with your surfing, like you're a you're a crash hot surfer, crash hot. And like, how does your body deal with the stuff that you do? Because you you do some shit that, I mean, I couldn't do it. I'm pretty fucking athletic. I'm pretty damn good at surfing. I, I might say. But do you sometimes get yourself in, in predicaments on a wave or 
or after you've you've done a manoeuvre and you're like, oh my god, my body is just it's fucked, and yeah. I need to I need to go and sort some shit out. Definitely, I think as me being a smaller dude, it's easier to get in those situations. You reckon? I reckon. I don't know. Small I was going to say being being longer, like you, your limbs are flying out. Yeah, true. I guess you wouldn't know because you're a, you're a small dude, and I wouldn't know because I'm a bigger. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't well, know yeah. your, your side of the story. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely find myself surfing sometimes, and just in the weirdest positions that I didn't even know was possible. Yeah. But somehow you just come out of it, and your body's sweet. What? Yeah. So is that? But do you stretch before you go surfing? I just warm up. I don't stretch. I think. I think it's pretty bad to stretch because it's calling your, your, call, telling your muscles to relax when you should be firing it right up. That's true, yeah. eh? And uh, I think subconsciously maybe that's why I don't... No, actually, it's probably because I'm lazy that I don't <laughs> stretch. But I, I, found, I find that whenever I stretch, I go out and... I'm not surfing 100% yeah. because my, my muscles they're are just, relaxed. They're, yeah, they're too loose and yeah. they're too relaxed and I need them, you know, just kind of like popping off yeah. and firing. Yeah, you need to warm up, bro. I've got a full routine before I go surf. Sometimes yeah. it's shorter than other times because I'm yeah. so frothy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I guess it depends uh, how warm your body already is yeah. as well. But yeah, I've seen you do your little routine and, and I just walk past you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I should probably look into that, you know, because mm. I'm not getting any younger. My muscles aren't... I was just about to say know, that, yeah. They're losing their elasticity. Yep. And it prevents injury. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And, yeah, you don't want to get injured. No, especially getting I've, older, it's yeah. probably harder to recover. Yeah. All that I, stuff. I find it a lot in my in my hammies. Yeah. Wait, what one's your hammy? I think it's my hammy. The one... Part of your leg, eh? The yeah. big meaty part of yeah, your leg. Yeah, between your anus on and the, your knee on the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one, that yeah, one that one gets one, a little. Yeah. That's because, like, if you fuck your hammy up, you're kind oof, of, oof. you're you're done, eh? Yeah, you're done. Yeah. But playing basketball, you feel that one every night. Do you? Yeah, you I, I do. After playing basketball, running and stuff. Yeah, that's true. I guess I feel that. I think I feel that one more surfing when yeah. I get into some, oh, yeah. um, some some predicaments on my surfboard more so than playing basketball, which is kind of crazy because you've seen me play basketball, mm, super yeah, athletic, yeah, and I'm jumping around yeah, yeah, all, yeah. all the time. But um, no, I find I get a little bit more with, with surfing. I find my hips twisting and getting in weird positions when I surf. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I reckon that's because you surf your backhand quite a lot. Yeah, true. And yeah. when you're surfing your backhand, you're kind of twisting off your hips a little bit more. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't find I do that too much in my forehand. It's kind of opening up on your front side. Yeah. I reckon, yeah, I find that I do a little bit more on my backside, which I never, ever, ever surf because <laughs> I only get, like going left. But you get good scores in, when you go right, remember? That's right, that's right, I was telling you that. <laughs> in, in contests, I actually excel in right-handers for some weird fucking reason. And I think the best, re- no, actually, well, not anymore, because there was that comp where yeah, I beat yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. then <laughs> you beat me the next weekend. Yeah. But prior that's to that, fun. I'd actually had my best results in right-handers. Yeah. That's Which crazy. is weird, yeah. but I think it's the way the judges, no offense to the judges, if any judges are listening to this, I think it's the way they score. Like, they just love that monotony of backhand Rios. And that's why, do you remember Zenor? Yeah. Like, our mate Zenor. Wolf. The Wolf Man. When he used to excel at competitions, this was back in early to mid 2000s. And he just, he's so good at doing backhand Rios and just getting that rhythm yep. and going up and yep. down, up and down. And he would kill comps yep. with that. And, I don't know, there's still people who do like you, I guess. I feel like on a back, backhand's almost easier to surf in a competition. It is, it's just it is. putting it up there yeah. and you're like... It's easy, and yeah. the judges kind of get a little bamboozled by that. Once yeah. again, no offence to the judges out there. I'll, I'll offend you later, but just <laughs> that, these bits aren't supposed to be offensive. I'll throw out some more offensive bits later. But, I think, yeah, it looks a little more dynamic when you've yeah. got your board going up vert, and it's a hell of a lot easier to do. On your backside, that is your front side. But in saying that, if you watch J Bay, I reckon a lot of front side guys make more heat. At J Bay? Yeah. Yeah, that's a more of a down the line yeah. way. That's pretty fast way. It looks really hard tricky. to surf on the backhand. Yeah, you got to do those kind of down the line half speed, carb, half, half floater, of, yeah. <laughs> something. Fuck, I don't know what they are. They're not that dynamic though. But um, J Bay, yeah. Have you been watching that? I have been. 
Uh, boring as hell, eh? <laughs> it's, it's free snow. No, nah, it's good to watch. I yeah, love yeah, watching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's real diplomatic of you to say. <laughs> Seeing as though that's your goal is to get on the world tour, you know, it. and you've got to kiss a bit of ass and that every now and then. No, I don't know. I don't even know if the waves are that good. What? Well, I don't know. It's Yesterday, fucking... I, I mean, tried it looks to watch hard some in the morning. Of it. it looks real hard with the wind in the mornings. Yeah. But then in the afternoons, it looks perfect. Yeah, I haven't been getting that far, man. Neither, I'll watch like I'll one, two heats yeah. and then, you know, I'm done. I can't be fucked. I'll be yeah. bored and I'll be off watching, watching some YouTube videos of NBA free agency. Ooh. LeBron. Yeah, LeBron to the Lakers, what? eh? I'm Crazy. so fizzing on that Are because you? I've been a Lakers fan for probably about 15 years. Have you? Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm been, Lakers, Lakers till I I've, die, I've man. I've been a Celtics fan. No, you, what? Always, Celtics. Oh, yeah. Okay, Lakers, Celtics. That's good. We've got yeah. super, like extra rivalry yeah. going on now. What about Boogie Cousins going to Warriors? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. But he is coming off uh, an Achilles injury. Is he? Yeah, Ooh, he tore his Achilles last season. He was absolutely killing it as well. He was, I think he was averaging like 25, okay. 13 rebounds and then 5 assists or something. Just absolutely weapon, dominating. Eh? And then he tore his Achilles. Ooh, that's so, I don't know. That's Yeah, on. that's one of those injuries that... You know, if you're an athlete, you tear your Achilles, that's almost game over. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how he bounces back from that. But, I mean, Golden State got him for 5 mil, which is insane. Because he's the kind of guy who, if he was healthy, he'd be getting mm. like 30 mil a year. That's crazy. Which is retarded. Even yeah. $5 million a year is so much. But if you look at it in the scheme of the NBA... Yeah, compared to everyone else. Compared to everyone else. Like, LeBron's almost on $40 million a year. On his that new contract, unbelievable. Yeah, so I guess they gave the um, most. Chris, it looked like Chris Paul or Tyree Chris Paul. Or? Chris Paul. He He's his a, new contract was 160 mil. It was more than LeBron. Eh? more than more than LeBron. I was like, oh my oh, god, yeah. LeBron got so much. Me now too. I look back, saw Chris Paul's contract, and I was like, holy shit. And the thing is, like, the last year of Chris Paul's contract, when he'll be getting, I think it goes up um, incrementally each year. He'll probably be getting like forty-five million dollars a year on his last year, and he's going to be about 30, 37 or thirty-eight. And yeah. he's injury prone too, so Man. he might be not even Out playing that season. season he's and he'll be mil. getting forty-five million dollars a year just for like chilling <laughs> out and like cutting halftime oranges. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that that's been that's been a pretty crazy last few days the with Lakers the, the old just, NBA free agency. I know, bringing everyone in. Eh? Well, yeah. LeBron's bringing everyone. They've got a whole lot of Lance people Stevenson. that can't shoot. Lance Stevenson and yeah. LeBron. Is yeah, and Batman? LeBron. Yeah, the arch nemesis. Yep. Nemesis, nemesis. Fuck, I don't know how you say that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, oh Jesus, it's been been bloody crazy. Do you, do you ever like look at other professional sports and try and take take some um, some lessons from from that? Like get any kind of inspiration from other sports? For sure. Like uh, I was just on a high performance camp over the weekend, and Dune said something about um, the Mamba. Mota- uh, mentality. Oh, Mamba mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and those guys are just so motivated and so focused, and everything's just their sport, pretty much, and they just don't worry about anything else but what they're doing. So, um, yeah, I definitely look to other sports. Uh, All Blacks is a good one. I think they've got amazing docos and, and books, what they talk about, and, and yeah. their mentality and Just stuff like that. Just the headspace, yeah. eh? That, that professional athlete headspace. Yeah. We, we've been working a bit on that, so it's, it's, I think it's a big key factor in surfing, for sure, because you're, so you're by yourself, pretty much. In a yeah, head. yeah, So yeah. you've got to focus on what you're doing. Not, yeah. You're not surrounded by a team out there. Yeah, and I, I guess you have to look at um, yeah, like the, the individuals, like mm. like you're saying, like Kobe Bryant's yeah. got that mamba mentality because yeah, he's yeah. a fucking snake, like a snake in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he gave himself that nickname. But like you look at his mentality mm. and the stuff, the stories that you hear about him, like turning up to practice two hours before everyone yeah, else and, and training, staying two hours after training, and the training like three yeah, times yeah. a day, and just like yeah, everything was just basketball, basketball, basketball. Yeah, and then you look at LeBron and. You know the stuff that he goes mm. through, and and the the dedication that he puts into the game, and then also what he puts into his body. He spends like one and a half million dollars a year 
on upkeep on really? his body like on nutritionists on on training yeah. this isn't even just going to the gym with the team this is like his personal, personal spend man but um it'd be easier if you had that money well yeah imagine, <laughs> imagine if you're just like yeah i'm just gonna spend one and a half million dollars on some on, on some <laughs> supplements and gonna help someone like hold the stretchy band for me so i can do some stretching and shit 1.5 million dollars but yeah, I, I don't think anyone in surfing does that. Mm. Although you look at Kelly Slater yeah. and, and his body, he's 46. Yep, 46. And I mean, he's coming off a broken hoof, but that's totally different. You can't really control that. But you look at how how well he's looked after his body. He still looks like he's 22. Yeah, like I was watching him at the, in the J-Bay contest Yesterday, and he's definitely lost a step. Obviously, he's 46 years old, and you compare him to someone like Jordy, mm. who he was surfing against, and Jordy's 30. And he's not that, he's not really that far behind. No. Athletically. Not at all. He's, he's real flexible. He's real focused on what he eats and stuff like yeah, that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be a massive yeah, one, eh? Your for diet. For sure. Fuck that though, eh? I love drinking beer. <laughs> I love eating fried chicken and a whole bunch of shit food. So if it was either be a supreme athlete or enjoy the good things in life, I think I'd probably go with enjoy the good things yeah. in life and be an okay athlete. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to watch what I eat a bit more these days. Yeah, but not that much though, eh? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, cut a few meats out like if I got you a If I got you a Coca-Cola um, now, would you drink it? Um, probably. You, do you want one? No, I'm right, thanks. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one. I'm going to get one of those coffee coffee drinks. You got some in the fridge, eh, bum? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, boy. Sweet. Well, I'll be back. Um... Actually, can you grab me one, too? Oh, you do want one? <laughs> yeah, boy. That's just a cola. Oh, that's a cola? These are the coffee from Supreme. Oh, yes. The coffee Supreme. The boy's got all the goodies in the fridge. Phoenix. Oh, yeah, these are good. Look at that. These are good. Coffee colours. There you go. Phoenix. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Very so that'll get you going. I mean, it's not healthy, but it's not unhealthy. Well, it might be unhealthy. I don't really know. I don't care. Is there coffee at the bottom? you got to shake it, bun. Oh, you got to shake it. Okay. Uh, is it like flat cola or? Oh, yeah. Cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cola's kind of flat, eh? Beautiful. Yeah. So careful when you open it because it could just ejaculate all over your, your grill. Um, <laughs> Let's check it. Oh, that's it. Camera's off.